Hey guys, so today it's going to be a Disney talk slash rant. I've been wanting to film this for a very long time and I don't know why I haven't gotten to it. Um, and things just slowly have been adding on top so I think this is the right time to kind of talk about all the things I want to talk about. Before I get into this video, if you guys don't know, I'm a really big Disney fan. I'm not a know-it-all. There's still a lot of things I probably don't know and I don't claim to be like the number one fan but I am a very huge fan and I like to think that I know a lot of things pretty well. I love meeting new people that are into Disney because Disney has had a very huge impact on my life and a very good a positive impact on my life. I'm literally obsessed. I can't even tell you how obsessed I am. Like I have plans when I'm older, like I'm already old, but when I'm older um, to move near Anaheim or to live near there, like my dream is to raise a family down there because I'm closer to Disneyland and I want my kids to be really big Disney fans like me. So um, I thought about making also a video as to like why I love Disney or how it came about or what are the things that I like about Disney. So if you guys want to see some video as to like what how Disney inspires me or some sort of that kind of video definitely leave a comment down below to let me know because I would like to do that for you guys because I really do love Disney and I try to incorporate Disney into my YouTube videos and it's really difficult because you know I follow a lot of Disney vloggers that um, or even just Disney fanatics that like to do Disney videos and they get really creative but a lot of them also have a lot of access and a lot of resources to get them to Disney World, Disneyland, etc, etc. So I follow those and I'm really really like obsessed. Um, two of my favorite Disney I guess uh, channels would be uh, Fresh Baked Disney. If you guys have not heard of Fresh Baked Disney you really need to because I, I love their channel. And also Thingamavlogs is also a Disney so I'll have both of their channels linked down below because um, I think they're really good Disney channels and I think that you guys should check them out if you're a Disney fan like me. Let's just go ahead and get into it because there is a lot of Disney things I want to talk about so um here we go to this Disney rant slash talk. Disclaimer before I get into this these are my opinions about what's going on and you may or may not agree with them and you are entitled to your own opinion just as I am to mine so if you don't agree with something that is perfectly okay hopefully there to be interaction in the comments below um, talking about what I'm talking about and what your guys' thoughts are because that's why I'm making this video. It has been an emotional roller coaster for Disneyland, California Adventure, all that sorts, just Disney in general. There's a lot of things that I really want to talk about so let's just start off with number one. But before I start into this video, isn't this shirt like freaking awesome? I just got this from my last trip that I went and it actually glows in the dark. It's pretty freaking awesome. And I love it. It's comfy and it's one of my favorite t-shirts. So just wanted to show that off. Disney recently uh, in California Adventure, they revamped Soren Over California and they changed it to Soren Over the World. I'm not saying that Soren Over the World is like not good. I have yet to write it because um, they did all these renovations after I had left for my last trip. Uh, but I have YouTubed what it looks like or to get a good idea as to what it's about what it looks like and so far from the YouTube videos that I've watched it looks it looks okay it looks pretty cool my only issue with this and there may be a lot of cussing in this video so just please bear with me my thing is the park is called California Adventure right so if it's called California Adventure why the hell would you change it to soaring over the world I don't have a freaking clue. Now, like I said before, the videos that I've seen on YouTube, they look pretty cool. I like them, but honestly, in my opinion, maybe it like my mind will change once I actually ride the ride. But as far as I'm concerned, I really enjoyed Soaring Over California. It really did, I think, a good job of showing what California is about, what like the good places to check out in California. And Again, the park is called California Adventure. Why the fuck would you change it? The park is called California Adventure, which means Soarin' Over California. You don't go to California Adventure to see Soarin' Over the World. So, I don't know. I wish that Disney... I'm not saying the Soarin' Over the World is like X. Like, get rid of that idea because it's fucking horrible. I just think that I wish they had maybe like two expos, if that's the right word, or two separate rides that are kind of near each other where you can ride either or. I know that shit would cost a lot of money. So then I was thinking maybe, okay, maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe on certain days they would have Soarin' Over California and then other days they would have Soarin' Over the World. I'm just not okay with them getting rid of Soarin' Over California. 
Um, I hope that Soren Over the World is just kind of temporary because, I don't know, Soren Over California is really dear to my heart and I think they're getting out of the theme with California Adventure. Why would you have a park, again, named California Adventure and then change a ride that's California based? If you really look at California Adventure, there hardly is anything California themed anymore. They used to have a bridge, I don't know if you guys remember way back when, they used to have a bridge and they knocked that crap down. They got rid of the California letters were, that used to be in front of the entrance and I'm just like, what is happening? Although I am really happy with like Buena Vista Street, a lot of stuff that they did revamp in that park I am really happy about, but I'm just really pissed off because I'm like, how could you get rid of Soren over California? Why? So enough of that, number one, you know, talk or rant, whatever you want to call about. So my thoughts on that whole thing is bring back Soren over California because I don't want to see the world. Although that sounds pretty freaking cool, I think California is pretty dope and I want people to come to Anaheim, California and see what California is all about. Second thing, this is probably the most talked about thing until there was a new rant or problem or dilemma that was happening. So not too far along they announced that they were getting rid of the Aladdin show. Let me tell you. Before watching this show, I was thinking like, oh, I've seen the movie, like, what could be, like, so spectacular? Like, this is just, like, whatever. And then I saw it, and my mind was just blown away. I cried. I freaking cried. And I've seen Aladdin how many times, and I cried watching it live. It was so good. I was just mesmerized. I was like, this is the most amazing thing ever. Just so iconic, so well known, and it had been there for years. And when they said that they were going to change it, you know, whatever, change is good, which in the premise of this whole entire video, I get it, change is good, Disney needs to change certain things, but there's certain things I don't want them to change. <laughs> so when they were saying that they were getting rid of Aladdin, I was thinking first, oh, I'm so sad. Like, I was literally pissed off, right? And I was like, what am like like what is it gonna be like? Like what are they gonna replace it with? That's the first thing that went through my head. What are they gonna replace it with? Because if we're gonna get rid of Aladdin, let's make sure that it's something good, right? There was rumors before they had confirmed anything that Frozen was gonna take over or also Tangled was up in the mix, right? Those are the only two like other movies that they were gonna make into a musical at California Adventure. And I'm like, pick Tangled, pick Tangled, pick Tangled. Like Tangled is my top three favorite Disney princess movie. I love it. Rapunzel is literally my spirit animal and I was so like pick tangled, pick tangled, pick tangled. Especially because I'm like Frozen is fucking everywhere and I'm not saying Frozen is a bad movie. I love Frozen. I have two Frozen blankets. I have Frozen on DVD. I'm all for Frozen. I, I love Frozen. But I just feel like ever since Frozen came out, it's literally been a fucking epidemic and it's been everywhere and kids are just like, let it go in everywhere. It needs to stop because there's other movies that are out there that are just like, hello, why aren't you showing this to your kids? Like, hello, Oliver and Company, Aristocats, where the fuck are the classics? Why are we not talking about that? Of course, at that time I was like, anything but Frozen because Frozen is already shown freaking everywhere. So, of course, what do they pick? Frozen. Everybody is like pissed as fuck because, of course, like me, they're like, Frozen is fucking overrated, it's everywhere, like we should, like what is happening? What is happening? Why are we doing this? They shouldn't even gr gotten rid of Aladdin. At first I was really upset. I think I'm starting to adjust to it now. Um, I hope that Frozen's not there forever and they can keep changing it to, to other movies uh, and making them into musicals or whatever, making them into to a show. Again, I have yet to see the Frozen one live. I've only seen YouTube videos and I like it. I do. Do I think it's better than Aladdin? No. Based on the YouTube videos. I've heard otherwise when you see it in person, so I guess, like, I'll let you guys know about that. If I go to Disneyland anytime soon, because it's so freaking like, expensive. Of course, I still miss Aladdin very dearly, and I'm very upset that they didn't pick Tangled, but whatever, what are we gonna do? Frozen's fucking there, and, and we're just gonna have to embrace it, right? Now, the third and final, like, I guess, negative note... Well, I mean, none of those were negative. They're just not things that I'm necessarily happy with completely. So I guess the third one that I want to talk about is the most talked about one right now because it's all happening so fast right now. I need to pace myself for this one because the other ones, I have time, I have had time to calm down. It's already been some time. Everything's happened. I'm starting to adjust to this shit. This one is like hitting me like a motherfucking hurricane. So... Disney has decided that in California Adventure, 
they're going to get rid of Tower of Terror and replace it with a Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Now, let me tell you, when I first heard this, of course it wasn't confirmed, it was rumors. The construction is going to be happening soon. Like, Disney has already said this shit is gonna happen, so be freaking ready. Be freaking ready. Let me bring you from the top for when I first heard that it was happening. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. But I'm like, thank God I just went in March and I got on that ride like five times. Literally, I did. Like, we would get off and we would get another fast pass. It was freaking great. If I hadn't gone to Disneyland in March, that would have been since 2011, since I'd gone and my heart would have been broken. I would have been like, I need to go to Disney like now. When I found out, I was thinking to myself like, man, how could Disney do this? Like, Tower of Terror is such a popular ride. So I researched it. Obviously, I guess Disney did not want to pay Twilight Zone that 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 brand they don't want to they want didn't want to pay Twilight Zone a certain fee I'm thinking to myself like Disney how much money do you have why can't you pay them why 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 I was so sad I, I think this is probably the one that I was the most sad for because that ride just gives me the feels every time I get on it I'm just so freaking excited I love the Gardens of the Galaxy I think that's a really like I really enjoyed that movie I think it's like you know that now that we have Marvel like okay this is a good idea to bring that but I was like no no and when I first read it they made it seem like it was gonna be a roller coaster this is where I get really pissed off thinking like okay whatever I guess we could use another roller coaster still upset I'm still not over that we're getting rid of Tower of Terror but I'm trying to embrace what's coming they released the concept art I was like, the fuck? This looks like Tower of Terror. The fuck? The We're gonna have the same premise. Tower of Terror will look exactly the same. It's just gonna be Guardians of the Galaxy themed. Like, it doesn't go smoothly as it does with Tower of Terror with it being a hotel and you go into the elevator and ah! Like, you know, I just feel like that idea is so much more embedded well and it just works so much better. Not opposed to Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I said, it's a, like, I love that movie. At the price of getting rid of Tower of Terror, I'm just like, no. No. I, again, the channels that I talked about before, Thingamo Vlogs and Fresh Baked Disney. Fresh Baked Disney has talked about it and he's like trying to embrace it. Like he likes it. He's not saying that like, oh yes, I'm so for them getting rid of Tower of Terror, but he is saying that, you know, he doesn't think that this is a bad idea and he understands why, which after I watched his video, like it gave me a better sense of, okay, this is not as bad. I need to deal with it, like I need to understand a little bit. Thank you Fresh Break Disney, not that they're probably ever going to watch this video, but thank you anyways for opening I guess like my eyes to that because he really thought, like he well thought out his video. I'll have that video linked down below, the one that I'm talking about where he really talks in depth. There's two of them, but the second one he really gets in depth, so I'll write like part one and then part two. In that video like he talks just about how, you know obviously Disney is trying to expand, or Disney and California Adventure is trying to expand it to be Marvel because we are, I want to say part owners, don't correct me if I'm wrong, we own some part of Marvel, I don't know if we own it completely or if it's partial, but we are like I guess partnered with them. And they're trying to make California Adventure more Marvel themed because of it. That section where Hollywood Studios is at, they're, I know that they're having the idea of knocking that down. And that Hollywood theme, like Hollywood Tower of Terror, they're trying to kind of get rid of that stuff. Which also means that at the expense of that, they're going to have to get rid of the Monsters, Inc. ride that's in there, which is kind of sad. Like, there isn't anything special, but I've always liked those rides where they kind of take you in, they're slow, they're like for the little kids, but obviously I still get on them. And they take you through the movie. It's like a... It's like one of those rides like Snow White or Mr. Toad or Pinocchio in Disneyland. I'm sad about that, but I'm just really more sad about Tower of Terror. So I'm trying my best, but I was like so pissed. Like if you ask any of my friends, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will know that I was not happy about this. Still really sad. I'm still really sad. There's been a lot of memories on that ride and it's been one hell of a ride and if you haven't got on it. I think that's what I'm most depressed about. I said in my Snapchat when I was ranting about it, my boyfriend's never been to Disneyland before. He's not like a huge big fan like I am, but he embraces it more for me. Like he sits down, he watches Disney movies with me, he plays Disney Monopoly with me. Like he, he embraces it because he knows like how much it means to me. We were planning on making a trip hopefully soon sometime and I don't think by the time we are able to financially get there because Disney is not cheap um, to get there I don't think he's gonna be able to experience that ride and that's one of my favorite rides so I mean I guess maybe we'll be able to experience Guardians of the Galaxy together but I mean it's just not the same you know like it kinda just broke my heart a little. I get I get it I know what, what Disney's trying to do they're trying to play smart and they're trying to make it a Marvel thing so obviously by putting Guardians of the Galaxy they're starting to slowly renovate that little area that they want to change it to but it's just 
it's so sad them making all these changes has just been really really crazy so i mean i don't blame them like i said after i watched fresh baked disney's video i was like okay i i, I get it i definitely want to know your guys' thoughts as to what like to all these changes if you guys are big disney fans or if you go to disney a lot i wish i did i wish like i had a season pass because that would be the life i'm gonna go really quickly through the positive things that disney has um gone through so we obviously have uh moana that's coming out later next year or this year something like that i don't know my date so i'm so sorry they made her look so gorgeous i'm glad that other cultures are being represented if represented i wish that they would represent my mexican culture although they are bringing in on disney channel the elena of avalor or something like that um but i'm just like can we can we can we make her like um like can we make a movie out of a hispanic princess because that would be the ultimate goal like i want to have what moana has for people of her culture like uh, excuse me on a positive note you know obviously like that i feel like that's gonna be a huge success a lot of people are looking forward to it finding dory came out not too long ago in june and i freaking loved it i saw it the day before it came out and it was freaking spectacular i went to go see it with my dad and my boyfriend and i cried like twice it was just so good if you haven't seen finding dory go and see it. i don't really want to talk about it much because i don't want to give out a lot but if you haven't seen it go see if you have seen it make sure to like this video because finding dory is freaking awesome i love ellen which makes me even more happy that she's a part of Disney because that's just freaking great. Incredibles 2 is coming out, so that should be also exciting. There's a lot of movies that are coming out soon that a lot of people are hoping for. The only one that I'm a little bit skeptical about is Toy Story 4 because they just... I don't know if they should make another one, although they're in the process of making it. Because Toy Story 3 was kind of like a perfect ending chapter to, like, a book. It was great. Like, I thought, this is it. It's over. I'm saying goodbye to my childhood even though it's still there but you know this is it now they're making me reopen my childhood again and I'm skeptical because I'm like this the whole story back on Toy Story 4 is going to be Woody trying to find Bo Peep and that's like way out there and not even close to what any of the three other movies like I feel like the other three movies were still kind of conjoined this one is like far out so I'm very worried that the fourth one's gonna ruin it because the first three were such good sequels I have it's very hard to find movies that have good sequels and that one was a good one so I guess we're just gonna have to find out we're also doing a lot of live action ones we have Peach Dragon that's gonna be coming out soon uh, Beauty and the Beast is gonna be coming out in like a year so we still got some time to wait for that one but they did release a trailer and that looked so amazing I'm really excited for that one they had recently just come out the, with the Jungle Book live action that one was pretty good I like Cinderella better than the Jungle Book one but I still think they're both good in my book and I would still recommend to go see them positive note is that they are making a Star Wars land in Disneyland, um, which is really, really exciting. Uh, Fresh Break Disney is doing a really good job as to, like, kind of letting us go through the process and stuff like that. They've done a really good job. So, Fresh Break Disney, you guys are just freaking awesome. I just want you to know that. I'm I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm kind of a bandwagoner because I was not really into Star Wars at all before Disney uh, picked it up. And now that Disney owns it, I'm like, yes, all for it. I saw the new one and I was like, yes, Ray, yes, Ray. The concept art looks dope as fuck. I'm not even going to lie. It looks really, really cool. So I'm looking forward to that. And my brother wants to go to Disneyland now because he's a big Star Wars fan. So I guess that's good. You know, I could take my brother and he can maybe pay for my ticket. Thanks. Recently changed Space Mountain to Hyperspace Mountain. There's been rumors that they're going to keep it as Hyperspace Mountain, but some of the people say that they're going to go back to Space Mountain. So the last time I went, they did Hyperspace Mountain, and it's just basically Space Mountain, but they changed it with Star Wars music, and it, it was it was pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. Like, if they were going to change it to anything, that would be the best bet. Like, it's the second best. Space Mountain still has a special place in my heart because that music to Space Mountain gets me pumped, but the Hyperspace Mountain is really good. And lastly, on a positive note, Disneyland just opened up a park in Shanghai that costs, like, billions of dollars. Yay, Disney. There goes another park added onto my list that I need to go. Like, I have a goal to go to every single Disneyland park. The one in Paris, the one in Tokyo, the one in Shanghai, the one in Florida. I plan to go to all of them. They need to open one in Mexico because I would be like, yes, Disney, yes. Disney has has been doing a lot of changes, has been coming out with a lot of good successes and a lot of positive things. So I can't say that I'm completely upset with Disney, but I was wanting to do this rant and let you guys know. Definitely, definitely let me know. This video is probably already going to be super long as is. What your guys' thoughts on this are, um, if you're not a Disney fan and you're just hearing about this, 
I don't know, maybe you have thoughts on it still, go ahead and comment down below. My social media sites are always in my description box if you guys want to follow me there. It's all basic, all my social media sites are basically Disney Daisy Land besides my Snapchat. My Snapchat is just Disney Daisy because for some reason they didn't let me add land. I don't, I, I, I don't know. If you're not subscribed to my channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, I guess this is pretty much it. I just really wanted to talk about this stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. My battery's gonna die. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Shout out to all my Disney fans. Remember, all your dreams can come true if you have the courage to pursue them. Dang, I'm a poet. Just kidding, Walt Disney said that. Thank you guys so much, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!